Yo, yo, you look pretty. Kalamara. Good evening, lovely ladies, gorgeous gentlemen and friends beyond the binary. Welcome to the Art Gallery of New South Wales. My name is Kobe Edgar and I'm the curator here of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art. I'd like to start by acknowledging that tonight I am on the land of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. I'd also like to say hi and welcome to any of my First Nations colleagues and friends who are joining online tonight. Tonight I'll be talking to one of my good friends and artist Marlene Rabunja. For those of you who love Marlene and her work, her work is on display at the moment in the exhibition Joy at the Art Gallery of New South Wales until March 2021. Marlene's work is also in very, very good company there. All the works are selected to help alleviate some of the pain and stress that we've all been through during COVID-19. And tonight we're just going to go straight over to Marlene. Marlene, how are you? Where are you from? From Alice Spring. You live there your whole life, hey? All my life, because I like the Alice Springs. It's, it's, it's a home. I miss Alice Springs. How are you guys going up there? Is it nice and hot yet? Yeah, it's getting hot. It's starting to... We need, we need more rain, but rain, we just have not rain now, but it's still hot. We've got a little bit hot weather now. I'm on the land of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation tonight, and I'm missing my country up in Darwin in the NT a little bit, but that's okay. Marlene, what have you been making lately? Doing sewing, all the little birds, this couple, and that time I've been sent some. We've got your woman with dilly bag downstairs, that lovely dilly bag work. Can you remember making that one? Yeah, yeah, I know. With her dilly bag hat, that's in Joy, and Joy is an exhibition that's on at the moment downstairs. It's open yeah. until like March, I think. So maybe you might be able to come Sydney way and have a look at her. I, I forgot about the, uh, some of them. Scott's got just when I've been doing it a long time. And now you're making me to think back what, for her. Got them bush medicine, no bush tuck, I say. Yo, yo, that's the one. She got them bush medicine. Yeah, that's the one Sobia told me that other time. But I seen it on that paper. I will feel hurt and sad. What for? How come you feel sad? I'm sad because when I do things, you know, with my hand, with my hand, just I will create them. And, you know, I want to see it. But when I see it at all at Art Center in picture paper, it makes me think back, you know, when I sent all my stuff and you know, it's just take just like when we do people with anything like that, you know, push daga, tell a story. Just like it's real, you know, but like family. That's the one you make me feel. If I hold them and touch them, that's it, I might let them go. Uh, when when Sophie told me that couple of months, or oh, which one? Not with that do dilly bag, with the push medicine, my push tucker. Can't be, that's gone. Because why I would forget well, you make so much work and it must go to so many people all over the world, all over the country, and you must yeah. miss them. Do you miss do you miss your work, hey, when you miss your creations? Yeah, you're right there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, because they got a little bit of you in them, don't they? Every little artwork got little bits of Marlene. Yeah, cool. Goodbye. Yo, and they're, they're, proper, they're proper happy, joyful, like you. Same, same. Mm-hmm. Colourful. And everyone in the gallery, they love them so much. They think they're beautiful and they bring people happiness. So thank you for making work and thank you. We got that work a couple years ago now and it's the first time it's been up. And you know, the little Gigi Dutas, the little kids, they just want to run straight up to that lady and grab her, but they can't touch her. <laughs> you can show that picture for me, Pearl? Yeah, I can show you that picture. Yeah, look. Can you, can you see that one there? Hey, Konya is in the city, eh? Konya, Konya, she's all right. 
She's in Sydney. She got dilly bag there. Maybe she got some KFC, and maybe she got <laughs> maybe she got maybe some bush food, but not much bush food around here. If she lived in Alice Springs, she'd have biggest mob bush food in them dilly bag. Yeah, in Alice Springs, all the women we walk around with handbag. You know handbag when you walk around with handbag. You'll see one of these days when we go out that way. We carry all our stuffs, you know, like key card, everything, basic card in our handbags. Push to look for young guy, you know, young guy. Yeah, put food. Yeah. Put, put them in the bag, eat them up, make them full. And kagira, and langwa, you know, langwa, push langwa. What's langwa? Banana? Yeah, that's the one, green one. Mmm. <laughs> You've been teaching me for a while now. I'm slowly learning. Not very good, but yeah, yeah. we're just going to have a little look at Marlene's postcards that we developed a bit earlier on in the year for um, Together in Art. Um, Marlene takes us on a lovely tour of the art center in this video, which is a really special kind of postcard from Marlene um, in Mabantua. from this mean to mean to mean sickness. Uh, we just, I don't know when we can start getting together, but we have to wait till people tell us there's no more mean that. I'm walking this way, so we follow me. So Kobe can look. This is what them first artists went to. In the 80s or in 90s, I don't know, I wasn't here yet, but the whole day. And I, but this, this time we did this when I was here working. Artists, Yarundal Pay artists. See those, um, what we draw, animals that we sow. We sow all this, but we try to change our life now. We, I'm starting to do landscape like this. Already I done it, Gobi. And then you can show that. Gobi, you can show that. This one here. This part of McDonald Rain. It's really like McDonald Rain. They're really expert and bought. First, my been living here and they did this. And now me and Marlene telling another story. And I so, so. And how are you going with everything? Because we haven't been able to travel and come see our Malpas. No, we haven't been able to go and see you, Mob. Like, are you Mob or Art? We just are you go good? from, we're living in our town, can we just go far as? Art Centre, go back home. When we have feeling, we just go to Coles and go back. Nothing to do in Alice Spring, but just go back and so, so, so till sun go down. All day. All day and all night. You just work and work oh, and work. I mother up so don't see him up so all night. I go back from heart, I start finish today, I go back late. I saw till night time. Have you got your art centers all open though now? You got all of your, your friends your in the art center, you go back there and sewing together now? Yeah, we there together. Hmm. We sew. Is it nice to see them again? Yeah. And talk too much. You talk too much. I talk too much. I sit and quiet. Don't truly talk too much. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ah, uh, we talk about. Oh, oh lady talk about. Sometimes push, push mana. If she really want to go on the, with children ground, look. Looking for chapa, I don't know. Chapa, onions, they go. But it's not time for onions, I think. Not yet. We could wait for rain. 
and for Langwa, you know. As a part of the postcards from Marlene, we also have a little video that where Marlene is talking about some of her COVID safety, including Marlene's hand washing tips. This little video was recorded very, very early on in the year and just shows how proactive Mabantua and Alice Springs community were with COVID-19. When you do something bad, go on in and out, go inside and find a detergent and wash your hands. Look after yourself. We are all in, together in this in this disease. With NAIDOC week, did you guys do anything? Yeah, we just go right around. I was looking for push medicine and myself something, but nothing there. What were you looking for? Push medicine. Mm, what kind? For muscle. For your muscles? Yeah. For, yeah. <laughs> What you got bush medicine to give you big muscles? Yeah, big muscles and take away the pain. Oh, take away pain from your muscles. And put them on the face, make them look good. So the, do you know what the theme is for NADOC week this year, Marlene? That always was, always will be, eh? Yeah, always, forever. Always, forever. You got big family that did lots of land rights and stuff. Hey, your dad did lots of things for land rights, didn't he? Wenton? Rabanja? Long time we can go with bus. You know, with land cancer, we can go big mob. With a lot of cars and everything. Well, the land cancer mob. We went to that opal, you know, that park, and there was talking. You remember? But I remember we went with the family. I think I was probably a little bit too little then. I'm only 30 years old now. Ah, 30 years old. I was 19 or something like that, 20 or something, something like that. For your land rights to jump in that bus with your father. We went on the land council mob. All the land council mob went to Sydney and Canberra to go f to fight for them um, town camps. Hey, so you mob yeah, could yeah. have town camps in Alice Springs. That's that big story, hey? That's the story we went to Sydney to land right. And before that, we went to Canberra, just a few of us. And now you live in one of them town camps still, hey? Me, town camp, I'm living at Larrap in the Valley town camp. And there's other town camp, another group language. Walbury Camp, Aranda Camp, Luricha Camp. And it's to the PB too, you know, you know, part of Alice Spring, eh? Yeah, so your dad, Wenton, was a big part of establishing those town camps so that um, Aboriginal people could come and live in Alice Springs, hey, and they had places to stay. Yeah. It was a yeah. big, big, big movement that was big work from your father. And now your, you and your brother, Mervyn as well? Yeah. You're both famous artists. Mervyn's a, um, a watercolorist and you're a soft sculpture artist. Yeah. Big, big creative family, hey? Yeah. Who's a better artist, you or your brother? Might be Mervyn. Hey, I'm asking cheeky question there. No, uh, uh, nah. nah, but I put all the more bright color than him. Yeah, Mervyn does beautiful Hermansburg inspired landscapes and then your your very, very colourful soft sculptures. Together, um, as brother and sister, you make very, very amazing work and uh, beautiful works from um, Nintara and um, around near Mabantua and Alice Springs and um, showing people the diversity of um, practices in Alice Springs. I think it's really important and you know, you're in working there with Trudy. Trudy's dilly bag work is downstairs as well. So there you go. Your little Kunga, she got friend as well that's there keeping her company. She's not alone. And I got four people behind me here. They all looking at me. They're looking at you, but they're listening my voice. Yep. That's exactly what they're doing. It's over from that little doll with the dilly bag. Oh, because of that little doll with the dilly bag. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Marlene talks a little bit about her practice in this next video. Marlene is a, is a soft sculpture artist, but she's also worked with fashion designers and many other people just in collaborations. This is just her talking a little bit about her intimate relationship with the objects that she makes. I, I love my sewing from my, on, on my heart. I like to do it. I don't want you to sit on. I'm still strong to sew, but I like sewing and to paintings like this landscape. I just want to do hard. That's all. I just don't want to walk around in this town, look like those other people. I got my future walking with my children, walking with these so-called years. See this movie out? I'm walking with them. And I love to do so called this. And I stay home. I feel sometimes I go shopping to town and come back and do start getting my wool and scissors and start doing sewing now. If I finish this one I'll come back and ask for another one. Now I, I need to do these two now, this one. Blue one and orange one, I need to fix that one. Put some eye in and some mouth so they can talk as a family. This one boy, this one little girl. I'd give him name. Okay, go Bye. Good to speak to you and tell a story. Marlene mm -hmm. Rupanya from Alice Spring. Marlene? Yeah. What are your hopes for the future? What do you want to do for the future? Which future? Yours. Your future. My future? I'm not going to go nowhere from Alice Spring. I'm still going to sew, sew, sew. But if they, if they close the art center for sewing, I'll, I'll be start doing painting now and move along with my father's future. But but I really love my sewing. I love the colors. Which color is your favorite? My, my favorite is, you know, if I want to do landscape, I put blue and purple, light purple, and blue and dark purple. It just make, lift it up that um, landscape. Sewing landscape. Sewing landscape. I sew landscape. That's new though. You only just started sewing landscapes recently, hey? Yeah, and you didn't see it. They didn't show it to you. I haven't seen nothing yet. I haven't seen it. They haven't hide it away. I'm imagining it though. You put it on the wall, hey? I'll do, what, do it one day, next year. Next year you'll do it, show it. Mm -hmm. Is it a bit secret at the moment? Yeah, secret because I don't want Mervyn to know. <laughs> you don't want your brother to know that you're sewing landscape? I, I forgot to tell you, birds flying on top of over the hill on the landscape. Oh, you got birds. Three? Yeah, three. Is that fun? You liking that new process? Because you usually do soft sculptures. Now you're doing wall stuff, hey? Yeah. But that's what I'm doing. I like doing that now. Instead of doing one thing, small one, I don't want to do a small one. You're getting bigger. Big one, in my soul, you know. So me, for the Archibald Prize, Gammon. <laughs> I've been doing a lot, two landscape. Other one, other one, all together. But what do you reckon? about your landscape, doing landscape. Did you see that? I reckon it's good. I reckon it's nice. Cause you, cause it's sometimes it's hard for, you know, people to have sculptures around. Something you, different. You need like a table or you need somewhere where like the little kids can't get it. But if you have like a wall thing, then it's a little bit, you know, easier for people to just put it on the wall. Oh. Well, what are we going to talk about now? <laughs> Any more? Any more? Yeah, we can talk about lots of things. What about that little, um, little girl with 
dilly bag saying in. Yeah. Where it is? Where's that one? It's downstairs in my show, Joy, at the moment. It's sitting there. It's on the plinth and she's got other big birds around and some utopian sculptures. Um, and she's got the APY lens films and the little um, uh, jumpy desert weavers films. So there's like the APY lens men's spaghetti western. And then there's Kunga Kunbu and Dolly Song by Kayleen Whiskey and all of her, um, her colleagues. And then there's Sally Mulder's thing as well, her film, No Trouble Here. And then there's all them Hermitsburg pots from like um, Judith in Kamala ones and Rona Rabanja and Beth, all of them mob. And then there's your work and Trudy's work. And I think Ron, um, Rhonda Sharp's bird as well is there. Um, so we've got three of your works from there on display right now. And all the kids love it. Oh, thank you for telling me. I sent you photos too. What about, where are you from really? Where am I from? Yeah. I'm from Darwin. I'm Larrakia. Oh, Larrakia. I thought you are from Alice Spring. No, I'm Larrakia Jingley. My grandmother from Jingley, she was taken to Croker Island and the mission up there and then Larrakia as well. Then she stayed in Darwin. So Larrakia Jingley, I'm a little bit desert woman. I need a little bit though. Why do you think I'm from Alice Springs? Because I'm always there. Yeah. That's why I've been thinking. I only come up there to visit you, Mob. <laughs> come next year. I'll come next year. I miss you guys. Make my heart a bit sad to not see you this year because usually in September I'm there to see you and all of my other um, friends from all the other art centres during Desert Mob. But yeah. nothing this year. I've, I've been sitting here in the big city by myself. All I have is your old woman with dilly bags to come visit. Hey, don't laugh at me. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking about? To do another one. Another woman with dilly bags? Yeah. Do a few. Yeah, going with, I'll just do it so I can, you can buy it. I'll just, I'll just put a, a, I'll sew big dilly bag with one big cohen and the other big dilly bag with some fruit, langwa and all that, tiger and all. Yum, that sounds good. You should have biggest mob of them. Biggest mob, so you got all of the women with all their dilly bags. Yeah. Big installation. Nguala in it. Yeah, and Rwanda can just do dilly bag with Nguala in it. Can you remember meeting me, Marlene? I can't remember when I first met you. These ladies here, they asked me, when did you meet Marlene? How did you two meet? I seen you there in the Sydney somewhere there. Yeah. I think you came to the gallery. And I thought you, you here, but you were there working. No, I work here. I don't work in Alice Springs, but, and, but you came here and then I saw you here and then you remembered me from Alice Springs and you thought that I was in, meant on trip here or something. You're from Larrakia. I'm from Larrakia. I'm Darwin. I'm everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. You just tell them like that. I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm everywhere. I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. I, I got something to tell you. Go on then. I got to be checked in Haraloon next week or week after. Judge. 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 You know, Chad. Judging? What are you judging? Like you, you're minding the uh, art with museum there. Me, I gotta be judging our loon next week or week after. What are you judging? A prize? Because I got no. Portrait. Send that portrait prize. Portrait prize. You're judging a portrait prize. Pick the winner. I might pick you up. <laughs> you're picking the winner. You got making it. Third portrait with. Woman with tilly bag, I can pick you up. <laughs> you can't pick me. I don't make no artwork. Marlene Rabanja judging the portrait prize at Araluan, December the 4th. See who she picks so you can understand the aesthetic genius of this brilliant artist from Mabantua. You got anything else you want to sell off to me? Any other trumpets to blow? <laughs> yeah. They're still listening me talking?
They still listening. <laughs> How did you buy yourself? It looks like I'm by myself, but I got bigger, small people watching me. True, can't be. Do you want to see them? Yeah. Two of them. Hi, Marlene. Hello, hello. See you at Sydney. Yes, please. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Yeah, see me in person next time when I go there. I would love to meet you in person. But you look just like twins, don't I? <laughs> Thanks, 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 Bye. Where'd she go? <laughs> you right, Ben? You happy? I'm happy. Miss you? Yeah, I miss Sydney too. You come visit us soon. The Empire is still there? The fire's finished now. We up to new fire season soon. Hopefully not much fire though. Hopefully this time we just have some healing and some, some soft time to, um, to enjoy life because this pandemic and with the fires and that, I think everyone's very worried in their head and in their heart. So time for a bit of a rest, please. Just throw matches and make fire burn them bush medicine in Sydney. Yeah, that, those fires probably did burn down all of our bush medicine. And they grow new plants. The brand new ones are just sprouting now. You go out for bush walks and there's big green, green, fresh, fresh baby ones everywhere, which is nice, you know? Country needs, it's like country had the biggest haircut in the world and now it's grown back nice and pretty. Mm. Yo, yo then, I'll let you go. You finish your cup of tea? Yeah, keep on talking first. <laughs> Because my tea getting cold. Oh, you need to drink it up quick way. Yep. What now? Lily finish? You drinking it now? I'm not, no, Lily Pilly. No, this is lemon myrtle tea. What? Now that, when we go to Sydney, we drink that sort. When you come to Sydney, I can make you lemon myrtle tea. It's easy. Yeah, got it. We go to the Botanic Gardens and we can look at some of their, their plants there too. They've got... Bush medicine to look at there too. Like we've been drinking that one now, what you're drinking. And all these, when we go out for eat something or might be gone, have a bit of sweet tea. Sweet, sweet tea. tea. Have a drink, sweet tea. Yeah, yeah sweet tea. What are you drinking now? It's sweet tea. <laughs> it's not wine. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when we go there. Oh, when we go to Chinese food and you have green tea. I don't have green tea, I have ordinary tea. <laughs> what do you have in there? Cool drink. We got biggest mob cool drinks here, all different sorts. Oh, what? what, what you got to show it to me. Excuse me. So, if you can you get water, too much we're talking about drinking. <laughs> You right? I'm right. You right? Good. I'm just here on the east side and Todd River's not far. I love the Todd River. Dry country. Very, very dry country. This river comes, just the riverbed just swallow the water. It's like we swallow this one, look. Water. You, you're from Alice Free. I'm not from Alice Springs, honey. <laughs> I'm from Darwin. <laughs> Good to talk to you. You can see me now. I got a cut. And see you anytime and have a big Christmas. Have a lovely Christmas. I'll call you before Christmas. But anyway, you want to say anything to the audience, Mob, before we leave or nothing? Tell them to go stand next to you. Tell them to come stand next to me? Yeah. Come on, Congress. Good to see you, Mob. And see you, Mab, any time in Sydney. We talk face to face now. Make that little woman with the tilly bag walk. How do you tell them, that little girl, your boss might come next year to Sydney? I'll tell her her boss, Marlene, coming down to check up on her, make sure she's doing hard work. Thanks so much, Marlene. It's been a pleasure to see you and to chat with you. I hope that our audience members love you as much as I do. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> 
Art After Hours Online is supported by Macquarie University and the Art Gallery Society of New South Wales. Next week, we'll be hearing from performance artist Betty Grumble and comedian Queenie Bonbon in conversation with Yumi Steins about challenging conventions of female sexuality through art and performance, inspired by our new exhibition, Pat Lata, Get Arted.